The battle we've all been waiting for. The OG versus the new kid on the block. The bloated sequel against the original masterpiece. Zamperla versus Intimate Amusement Rides. Let's talk Top Thrill Dragster versus Top Thrill 2. Opening in 2003, Top Thrill Dragster turned heads by shattering the 400 foot height mark, also becoming the fastest roller coaster in the world at 120 miles per hour. This was a record breaking roller coaster at epic proportions. Dragster continued to thrill guests for about 18 years until a tragic accident shut down the coaster. However, three years later, the ride was reimagined, reborn as Top Thrill 2. Back with a fresh coat of paint, souped up presentation, an additional massive 420 foot vertical spike, and new LSM launch hardware. Top Thrill 2 was not only touted as the superior of the two, but it would boast stronger, more reliable operations. <laughs> Well, that last part is yet to be seen, but it's still a little too early to compare, but that we will talk about later. In this duel, I'll be doing my best to remain unbiased. I detected determined. That was a lie. Yeah! And we'll be comparing both versions of the ride in a total of 10 different categories. Before we get into this epic showdown, do me a favor by clicking on that like button. Newcomers to my channel, make sure you subscribe for future roller coaster content. As always, let's start with the ride stats. Overall, not much has changed. Both versions feature a height of 420 feet, a max speed of 120 miles per hour. The biggest difference is that vertical spike adding 622 more feet on Top Thrill 2. Since each stat is worth a half point, Top Thrill Dragster gets 1.5 points and Top Thrill 2 earns 2 points. Now for the remaining 9 categories, the winner will receive 1 point and if there is a tie, both roller coasters will get 1 point. The View I have included this category in every duel up to this point, so no sense in skipping it here. Both roller coasters feature a panoramic view of the park as you fly over that top hat. However, you are only at the top for a couple seconds and barely have a moment to soak in the amazing view before you're making your way back down through the 270 degree spiral. With that said, Top Thrill 2 is gonna edge by Dragster with the additional spike. Riders get to travel in reverse up about 390 feet, I believe that's the height that the train reaches of that spike, before stalling out and falling back to Earth. The view you get looking straight down is incredible. You really feel the height. Presentation Both roller coasters are themed to racing, the original was top fuel racing, and the modern version, well, I'm not entirely sure, I'd guess just racing. Even though the original was a little more defined, Top Thrill 2 has more going on. The signage around the attraction looks really good, even the new color scheme is a breath of fresh air. I know that some aren't wowed with white track and dark gray supports, but come on it is better than red track which is basically plaguing every roller coaster at Cedar Point. Anyways, the best addition is the music playing as the train pulls out of the station and onto the launch track. I'm not sure how many different songs play, but I did hear a decent variety, all setting the mood before the riders take off down the launch. And for those who love the original Baby I'm Ready to Go that was playing over and over and over and over and over and over inside the station in Top Drill Dragster, there is a rendition of it that will play every once in a while when you're rolling out onto the launch track. Top Thrill 2 earns a point for presentation. The Launch it's no secret that the launch on Dragster was the star of the show. Regardless if the coaster traveled 420 feet, 300 feet, or even 500 feet into the air was trivial to the insane G-forces crushing you into your seat as you accelerate from 0 to 120 miles per hour in about 4 seconds. For its time, it was one of the fastest accelerating roller coasters and as already mentioned the fastest roller coaster on the planet. Well, one of the biggest changes to Top Thrill 2 is the launch. The new manufacturer, Zamperla, unceremoniously removed the old hydraulic launch and replaced it with an LSM launch. The coaster now uses magnetics to boost you to the ride's maximum speed, but it takes three launches to get you up to that max speed. 
The first forward launch to 74 miles per hour. The second launch at reverse gets you to 101 miles per hour. And that final forward launch will get you to the max speed of 120 miles per hour. Essentially, this new launch system changes the whole dynamic of the ride. I actually prefer this modern swing launch method, but for the sake of this category, Top Thrill Dragster is earning a point for its incredible hydraulic launch. Ride Intensity The original was the most intense roller coaster I've been on back in 2004, and it basically stayed that way until I rode Intimidator 305, which is now Project 305, in 2016. The launch was the most intense part of the ride, but with it being replaced with an LSM launch, I assumed that Top Thrill 2 would be the lesser intense attraction. Well, what Top Thrill 2 lacks in forms of the intensity of the launch, it makes it up with the visceral speed you are traveling at going forwards and backwards. On the original coaster, you only hit that top speed for a couple seconds. On Top Thrill 2, you get to experience those higher speeds for a longer period of time. And if you are riding up in the front row, the wind crashing into your face, basically ripping your skin off, makes for one crazy ride. I know that some are going to argue with me on this point, but I'm going to make ride intensity a tie. Ride Duration The original coaster had about 23 seconds of prime ride time, that's from first acceleration to the end of the brakes. Top Thrill 2 has 58 seconds, and again from first acceleration through the end of the brakes. According to Cedar Point's website, they say that the ride is about 2 minutes, I'm assuming that's from departing the station until you pull back into the unloading station. Regardless though, Top Thrill 2 easily wins this point. Airtime the original wasn't about airtime, and I would argue the same about Top Thrill 2. With that said, both versions have their moments of airtime. Top Thrill Dragster, depending on how fast the train was traveling over that top hat, could provide a nice pop of ejector prior to diving down into that 270 degree spiral. Top Thrill 2, which seems to be hitting those top speeds a lot more often, will give you that same pop of ejector airtime. However, Top Thrill 2 has that additional moment of airtime or weightlessness during the giant reverse spike. Riders will be floating in their seats for a couple seconds as the train stalls out and starts to fall back down. Top Thrill 2 earns this point. Ride Smoothness Essentially, both roller coasters feel the same. They have a slight rattle as you travel at crazy speeds down the launch. I'm making this category a tie. Trains and Restraints I was a huge fan of the original trains. The lap bar seatbelt combo was pretty comfy. The seating was a little bit more tight, basically like any Intamin train of that time. I feel that the train design is very similar to Millennium Force. The new trains on Top Thrill 2 are so much better. They are a lot more roomy, and all you have is that easy-going lap bar. No seatbelt, which means that the team can send those trains a lot faster. Top Thrill 2 gets this point. Operations. Speaking of operations, at first thought I was going to easily hand this point over to Top Thrill 2. Then, the announcement came. Apparently, the ride needs some mechanical enhancements to the train, and it will be closed indefinitely. I'm hoping this is just a simple hiccup like most roller coasters of this magnitude, but time will only tell. Now, if I were to look past this little fiasco, I would say that Top Thrill 2 has great operations, like comparing dispatch times and whatnot. The ride team was doing a great job sending those trains. Basically, as soon as the prior train cleared the top hat, the next train was rolling onto the launch track. But since I have to take all things into consideration, which includes the downtime currently going on with Top Thrill 2, I am making this category a tie. Alright, the final tally comes to Top Thrill Dragster with 5.5 points and Top Thrill 2 with 10 points, easily beating out the original. Basically, the main reason I wanted to create this duel was to demonstrate how many different factors make Top Thrill 2 the superior coaster. Sure, it doesn't have that one crazy launch, but it makes up with multiple launches in that giant vertical spike. Those who are looking for that quick adrenaline rush that the original provided might argue that it was better of the two. However, Top Thrill 2 is basically the full package. It's a complete ride experience that has more than a single trick pony. Well, what do you think? Did I get this one right or am I still sniffing the fumes of that new car smell? I know this is just more Top Thrill 2 content, which I've been dishing out as of late. <laughs>
But I just have so much to talk about with this coaster. Hopefully it's back up and running here soon because I really want to get some more rides. Anyways, until next time, this is X-Screen Thrills.